Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation k squared minus k cubed is equal to 12. Our job is to find all possible values of k. So let's start. First we move this 12 to the left hand side. So this will become k squared minus k cubed minus 12 is equal to 0. Next k squared minus k cubed minus this 12 is same as 8 plus 4 is equal to 0 and k squared minus k cubed this will become negative 8 minus 4 is equal to 0 next k squared minus k cubed minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed minus this 4 is same as 2 squared is equal to 0. Now we combine these two terms k squared and negative 2 squared and we combine these two terms negative k cubed negative 2 cubed. So this will become k squared minus 2 squared minus k cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now we make a group of these two terms k squared minus 2 squared and we use parenthesis to make this a group and we take a negative sign outside parenthesis so this negative k cubed will become positive k cubed this negative 2 cubed will become plus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now we have a difference of 2 squares so we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this will become k plus 2 times k minus 2 minus we have sum of 2 cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared this k cubed plus 2 cubed will become k plus 2 times k squared minus 2 times k plus 2 squared or 4 is equal to 0 and you can see that this k plus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this k plus 2 and in bracket left in bracket left this k minus 2 minus this k squared minus 2k plus 4 in bracket left k minus 2 minus k squared minus 2 times k plus 4 is equal to 0 next k plus 2 times k minus 2 due to this negative sign this k squared will become negative k squared negative 2k will become plus 2k and this 4 will become negative 4 is equal to 0 next k plus 2 times we write this negative k squared first negative k squared and this k plus 2k will become plus 3 times k this negative 2 minus 4 will become negative 6 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression k plus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression negative k squared plus 3 times k minus 6 
is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of k is equal to negative 2. This is the first value of k, this is the first solution of this equation. From this quadratic equation, this k squared is negative, so we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So this will become positive k squared minus 3 times k plus 6 is equal to 0. And this is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, k is equal to negative b is negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 6 divided by 2 times a is 1 next k is equal to this will become positive 3 plus or minus square root of this negative 3 squared is 9 negative 4 times 1 times 6 will become negative 24 divided by 2 times 1 2 next k is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of this 9 minus 24 will become negative 15 divided by 2 k is equal to 3 plus or minus this square root of negative 15 is same as root negative 1 times root 15 divided by 2 the k is equal to 3 plus or minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 15 divided by 2. So from here we get two values of k. k is equal to 3 plus i times root 15 divided by 2 and k is equal to 3 minus i times root 15 divided by 2. This is second and this is third value of k. First we found that k1 is equal to first we found that k is equal to negative 2. First we found that k is equal to negative 2. So we have three solutions for this equation. Negative 2 3 plus i times root 15 over 2 and 3 minus i times root 15 over 2. Now let's uh, verify these solutions and see that whether they are valid or not. To verify we use the original equation k squared minus k cubed is equal to 12. So when k is equal to negative 2 then this will become negative 2 squared minus negative 2 cubed is this equal to 12 and this negative 2 squared is 4 minus negative 2 cubed is negative 8 is this equal to 12 and this will become 4 plus 8 is this equal to 12 and 4 plus 8 is 12 is equal to 12. You can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means that uh, this is a valid solution. Now when k is equal to this expression then this will become 3 plus uh, i times uh, root 15 over 2 whole squared minus 3 plus uh, i times uh, root 15 over 2 whole cubed is this equal to 12. Now this will become 3 plus i times root 
15 whole squared divided by 2 squared minus this will become 3 plus i times root 15 whole cubed divided by 2 cube is this equal to 12. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This will become 3 squared plus 2 times 3 times i times root 15 plus i times root 15 squared divided by this 2 squared will become 4 minus by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3 a squared b plus 3 a b squared plus b cubed. This will become 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared times i times root 15 plus 3 times 3 times i times root 15 squared plus i times root 15 whole cubed divided by this 2 cubed will become 8. Now this 3 squared will become 9 and 2 times 3 6. 6 times i root 15 will become plus 6 i times root 15 plus this will become 15 i squared divided by 4 minus this 3 cubed will become 27 and this 3 squared is 9 9 times 3 27 plus 27 times i times root 15 plus this 3 times 3 9 and this square will be cancelled out with the square root 15 times 9 will become 135 135 i squared plus this i times root 15 whole cubed will become i cubed times 15 times root 15 divided by 8 and is this expression equal to 12. Now this uh, i squared i squared is equal to negative 1. So this will become 9 plus uh, 6 i times uh, root 15 plus uh, 15 times uh, negative 1 divided by 4 minus this 27 27 plus 27 i times root 15 plus this 135 135 and we replace this i squared with the negative 1 negative 1 plus this i cubed is same as i squared times i times 15 times root 15 divided by 8. Now this 9 and minus 15 will become negative 6 plus 6 i times root 15 divided by 4 minus this 27 minus 135 will become 
negative 108 plus this 27 i times root 15 27 i times root 15 and this i squared is equal to negative 1 so this will become negative 15 i times root 15 negative 15 i times root 15 divided by 8 is this equal to 12 next negative 6 plus 6 i times root 15 divided by 4 minus this negative 108 negative 108 and uh, 27 i times root 15 minus uh, 15 i times root 15 will become plus uh, 12 i times uh, root 15 divided by 8 is this equal to 12 now from this uh, numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left uh, negative 3 plus uh, 3 i times uh, root 15 divided by this 4 can be written as 2 times 2 minus from the numerator we can factor out 4 in back left negative 27 plus 3 i times root 15 divided by this 8 is same as 4 times 2 is this equal to 12. Now this uh, 4 will be considered with this 4 and uh, 2 will be considered with this 2 and we are left with uh, negative 3 plus uh, 3 i times uh, root 15 divided by 2 minus negative 27 plus uh, 3 i times uh, root 15 divided by 2 is this equal to 12. Now we write the common denominator common denominator is 2 so this will come here negative 3 plus 3 i times root 15 due to this negative sign this negative 27 will become plus 27 and this plus 3 i times root 15 will become negative 3 i times root 15 is this equal to 12 and this negative 3 i root 15 will be considered with this positive 3 i times root 15 and negative 3 plus 27 will become 24 divided by 2 is this equal to 12 you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means that This is second value of k 3 plus i times root 15 over 2 is also a valid solution and in the same way if we verify this third value of k this is also a valid solution.